The go to match command in VS Code lets you jump to a specific find result in the current file. In this TypeScript file, for instance, let's start a search for the word export. So I'll say Control F or Command F, and then say export. You can see that the find widget is telling us that there are 27 results, and we're currently on the sixth result up here. I can use the arrow keys to actually navigate between the different results. But let's say I want to jump to a specific result within this set, so maybe the first result, or maybe the tenth result. You can use the go to match command for that. To run go to match, I'm going to open the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say go to match. Now when I run this command, it's going to prompt me for the specific find result that I want to jump to. You can see it's telling us that we can enter a number between 1 and 27, which is the total number of matches. So if I wanted to jump to the first match result, for instance, all I have to do is type in 1. And you can see that VS Code is now highlighting the first find result in the file. Now if I wanted to jump to instead the 10th result, I can type in 10 here. And once I'm happy with the result that I'm viewing, I can just press Enter. And now my uh, view is locked on this 10th result here. You can see that the find widget is also telling us that we're on the 10th result. Being able to jump to a specific result is extremely useful if you have quite a lot of matches. So instead of export, let's say we're searching for something like the letter A, you can see that we have hundreds of matches now showing up. And if we wanted to just ignore all of the, uh, maybe the first 500 or so of these matches, all I can have to do is type in 500 here. And now we've jumped quite a bit down in the file to see these later matches. So it's very useful when you're wanting to skip over a large number of matches. Now, one other neat trick with the go to match command is that you can actually use negative numbers to jump to find results starting from the end. So if we wanted to jump to the last result, for instance, and I've gone back to searching for export here, I could say go to match. And then instead of typing in 27, I can just say negative one. And now it's going to jump to the very last result in the file. So any negative numbers are going to start counting backwards from the end of the find results instead of starting from the start of the find results. So if I wanted to go 10 back from the end of the find results, I could just say negative 10. And now we've gone 10 back from the end of the find results. Again, this is quite useful when you're dealing with a lot of find results. And I find myself using negative one pretty often to just jump to the last find result in the file. So that's a look at the go to match command in VS Code.